Okay, hi everybody. So, I'm coming here to show y'all what the pumpkin patch is beginning to look like. So I'm thinking I better, um, I'm thinking I better pick them before, um, they start to rot because look, at the patch. Now it was extremely hot this week, right? So I've been watering them and everything, but I did some research and because again, this all was an accidental planting. The company sent me the wrong thing and I planted it thinking it was one thing and it turned out to be something else because I would have never planted pumpkins because I don't know much about them but since this happened I have been doing some research on them I didn't even know what kind of pumpkins these were until I looked online and um, they are called Jack B. Little pumpkins right so they're the miniature size pumpkin so the, apparently this is the largest they're gonna get um, and they come in this color they come in white like what's back there and they come in green now I haven't seen any of the green variety but so far this is what we have but apparently they come to ripen sooner than if they were the bigger size pumpkins so Everybody on YouTube who have these Jack B. Littles, they started picking them. So I'm thinking I better start harvesting, you know, picking the ones that are good. Because they said if you let them stay on the ground like this, they'll begin to rot. So you got to take them in and put them someplace cool. And they'll last for like six months. And they're good for eating as well. But um, we're going to decorate with these and things to that nature. So um, I planted these uh, the end of May, mid-May. Yeah, I think it was like the middle of May. June, we're at the end of July. So... Yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead on and harvest the ones that are in here because I don't want them to start rotting because there's one back there that's uh, been laying on the ground too long and it's getting soft and it's beginning to rot. So before we lose any more of them, I'm going to harvest them. I'm going to cut them off and... Yeah, we're going to see how many we have. So I'm going to do that. Um, I would leave the camera running, but I don't have my um, tripod out here with me. And I hate to go back in the house to get it. So I'm going to pause this video. And I'm going to clip them off. And um, yeah, so... We'll see how many we have at the end. At the end of me clearing everything out. Okay? Alrighty. Stay tuned. Okay, so, so far I pulled those four off. Now you can see there's still a lot in there. But I'm thinking some of them still look immature. So, these ones, according to what I've seen online, they were ready to be picked off. So I'm going to take these guys in the house. There's already three more in there. And I'm going to leave the rest of these on the vine until probably by the end of the week. And uh, I'll get uh, the boys to come out and let them go through the pumpkin patch and get the rest of them out and but yeah aren't they the cutest little things it's 
a little dirty. I gotta wash them off, but I've been laying in the patch. So, yeah, this was totally an accidental planting of pumpkins. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, get these in the house and they say to store them in a nice, cool, dry place after you wash them off and get them out of the patch. And they're good. They'll last just like uh, the regular big pumpkins. They'll last for months. Um, so that's why they're good for decorating. And if you want to eat them, they're also good for eating as well. All right, so let's get these guys in the house and get them washed off, and I'll let you see what they look like. Okay, so this is what our little Jack the Little pumpkins look like, the ones that I picked out. And nice and good, nice and hard. They're the cutest little things. I would have never thought. See, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's from laying down in the dirt too long. So, so it's a lot more outside as you guys seen. But um, I'm going to let them stay on the vine a little while longer. And I'm going to let the boys go out there and get those ones by the end of the week. Yeah, so that's, these are the ones that I picked. And I'll let the boys get the rest. They're so cute. So we're going to use them for decorating centerpieces and for the front door. And what I've also read up on them, they are good to eat, just like the big pumpkins. So uh, I think I'm going to save some of the seeds so I could do this again next year. How about that? We're going to do this again next year. This was an accident this year, but um, I'm going to plan on doing it again. I'm going to plan on doing this again uh, next year. So, I'll show you guys how I'm going to save the seeds and all when I go to uh, save the seeds and store them for planting for next year. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Stay well and everybody take care of yourselves and take care of each other and stay tuned for the deceiving of these.